Okay, guys, this one's easy. Okay. Do two. I got four examples, you just got one problem. The ideal length of a certain length of a nail is 20 millimeters. The actual length must be within 0 0.4 millimeters of the desired size. Write an inequality that describes the range. See that number range right there? I'm going to make a number line. That's how you represent range. Okay, range. To start with, you're going to write an inequality above it. And you're not going to put zero in the middle because it's supposed to be 20. And then you're going to have numbers on each side because you can go one of two ways. You're going to put 20 and then plus minus 0 0.4. So over here you take 20 plus 0 0.4, that's 20.4. The other side, 20 minus 0 0.4 is 19.6. Now, remember, the range can go this way, it's just anything in between. Now normally what do we do? Well, we put X, we put 20.4 on that side. 19.6. Okay, 20.4 is the maximum, so it always eats the maximum, but it never eats the minimum. Okay, so they essentially go that way. This is the answer right here. You don't have to do the number line if you don't think it's necessary, but that's how that looks. Okay, next one. The ideal length of a horse fence is 300 feet. The length must be within 5 feet of the ideal amount. The ideal width is 450 feet. The width must be within 10 feet of the ideal amount. Write inequalities for the range of both the length and the width. So again, that range is a number line. You don't, on a story problem, you don't start with zero, so don't put that. You want the horse fence to be 300, but you can go above or below by five feet. Okay, we need the length and the width here. So there are two answers to this one. So 450 is the width. So here I take 300 and I add or subtract. So that's your length. That's within 5 feet. So plus or minus 5. So you got 305 and 295. So you have X. Actually, for the length and width, why don't you use L? If you put X, it's not a big deal, but that's the length. So you have 305 here, you have 295 here. Okay. okay, 305 is the maximum. You always have to eat the maximum, you never eat the minimum. And then here's the same way. 450 plus minus, and that has to be within 10. So it's going to be 460 and 440. And there's your range. Now to write the inequality, you're going to go width, 440 on this side, 460 on this side. Okay. So you have two answers there. There they are. Okay. okay, manufacturers curing metal into rectangles that are 20 inches long and 35.25 inches wide. Each metal's length and width must be within 0 0.25 inches of the desired amount. That means you can go up by 0 0.25 or down by 0 0.25. Write inequalities that describe the acceptable range for the length and the width. So we need two number lines. Okay. One for the length, one for the width. Okay, length. The length is supposed to be 20. So 20 plus or minus. Now you can go within 0 0.25. So up by 0, 20.25, and then 19.25, 19.75 when you minus. Okay. So the length, you got L. 19.75 here, 20.75 here. You eat the maximum, but the minimum never gets eaten, okay? Because it's the lowest it could be. Remember, it eats the bigger thing, so that's minimum. I'm actually going to do the next one. So you've got 
the other dimension. The other dimension is supposed to be 35.25 plus minus. Okay. All right, 0 0.25 again. So when I add 0 0.25, that's going to be 35.5. Remember, that's bigger than this because it's 0 0.50. And then minus it is just 35 even. Okay. Okay. So we put a variable. W, 35 on this side, 35.5 on the other side. Eat the maximum, don't eat the minimum. Okay, last problem. I'm actually going to show you to do this without a number line. Okay. The ideal circumference of a women's basketball is 28.75. So there's two answers when you're doing the length and width, which is what you're doing here. But I'm going to show you how to find that without having to do all the number line crap. The ideal circumference of a women's basketball is 28.75 inches. The actual circumference may vary from the ideal by at most 0.25 inches. Write an inequality that describes the range of the circumference of the basketball. Okay, pick a variable, C for circumference. Okay. Now, what's it supposed to be? It's supposed to be 28.75, but you can go above or below, okay, by 0 0.25. So if I add 0 0.25, that's 29 even. That's the maximum. It could be equal. You always put equal. When you minus, it's 28.5. That's the minimum. So that's how you write a range without the number line. If you like the number line, that's fine. Basically, you pick a variable, you add, put it on that side, you minus, put it on the other side, and that's an inequality. Inequality means there has to be less than or greater than.